The clear coat shading model can be used to better simulate multi-layer materials that have a thin translucent layer of film over the surface of a standard material. Additionally, this shading model can be used with either metal or non-metal surfaces. It was specifically designed to model this second class of smooth colored films over a non-colored metal. Some more examples of clear coat materials include lacquer clear coats, used on furniture, for example, or colored films over uncolored metal, such as with car paint or soda cans. Create a new material in the content browser with a name of clear coat and then double click on it to open it up. Select the main material node and in the details panel under the material section, change the following options. Shading model to clear coat. The clear coat shading model enables two new material inputs on the main material node. First is clear coat. Amount of clear coat layer, zero acts like the stand, and shading model, one is the full clear coat model. This is useful for masking. Next is clear coat roughness. Roughness for the clear coat layer. Our approximation is accurate for small values. Very rough clear coat layers are supported but will not be very accurate compared to their real world counterparts. Add four scalar parameter expression nodes to the material graph and give them the following names base color, then metallic, then clear coat and lastly clear coat roughness, and give them values, and then connect them. After connecting the editor should look like this. Here we have added even a texture sample to make the clear coat effect more evident. In the image on the left, clear coat value is zero. While the surface without the clear coat is interacting with the lighting, the light is only affecting the surface in one direction. In the image on the right, clear coat value is one. You will notice that more light is now interacting producing an alternating pattern of highlights and shadows with a sense of directionality. This makes the surface appear flat and smooth. Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.